me talk a little bit about our rail roller. Uh, we introduced this tool uh, about two years ago. Um, mainly because whenever you're building curved track, uh, whether it's a curved turnout or, or just regular curved track, getting a nice smooth bend on a piece of rail really uh, improves the appearance and the performance of the finished track. Uh, it's, it's quite important um, to pre-bend the rail if you're doing soldered rail construction. It takes, uh, it'll take the stress out of the rail. Actually, it's not taking the stress out, it's introducing stress into the rail uh, in the form of a radius. If I was to build this piece of track like this uh, and not pre-bend the rails, in time, just left sitting on the bench, the stress in the rail will actually make it straighten itself back out and pop these solder joints off. So it's quite important to pre-bend that rail before you build any curved track or a curved turnout. Um, and a tool like this really makes that job quite easy. Uh, the way this thing, uh, this tool works is it's three ball bearings and one, one of the ball bearings is adjustable in the middle. So by turning the little thumb screw, I can actually move that bearing in and out towards the other two. And a piece of rail is run in between those bearings like that. And as I adjust it, I can put pressure on there. You can see how it's bending the rail. And as the rail's fed through, it'll introduce a, a bend into the rail. So I'll give you a quick test on, uh, on a piece here. This is a piece of Code 83 rail. It's nice and straight. And I'm going to bend it to about the radius of this turnout. And just take the rail, feed it in between the, the three bearings, and then just give this a little bit of a turn. Now when I, when I do this, I want to push the rail through the tool. I don't want to pull it out the other side, because if I pull it out, I'm actually going to straighten the rail back out. So by pushing, I'm getting a nice consistent bend. You can see how I'm getting a nice smooth arc on that rail. I'm just going to feed the whole piece through. This is a, a full length 36 inch piece of rail. I'm just pull that little bit out of the end. And you can see that there's a nice consistent arc on that rail. Now when, I, when I'm bending rail, I just do pretty much a trial and error approach. You know, I'll bend it and see how it matches. You know, this is, this is tighter than, uh, than the inside radius, but pretty close. And that's, that's, the, uh, that's what you're trying to do. That's what you're trying to achieve with the rail roller is just bends in the rail. And I usually look for like a small, a medium, or a tight bend, um, depending on what I'm doing. I'm not trying to bend you know, down to a 32 and a half inch radius, just a close enough bend. And for this inside curve on this turnout, that would be close enough. That's a, that's a pretty good match. It's got the bend in there that I'm looking for. I'm going to try the same thing again on, uh, let's try it with a piece of Code 100 rail. Uh, the process is exactly the same. This is a much bigger piece of rail. But the pro it'll, uh, it'll handle that no problem. I'm just going to open that up. Slide it in. Introduce a bit of pressure onto the rail. And push it through. With code 100, it takes a little bit more effort. The bigger the rail, the more passes you're going to want to make for a tight bend. So this one here, it's actually put in a, a fairly broad bend into that rail. But pretty close to that outside one. Could go a little bit tighter. So let's run it through again. I'm going to actually back the wheel off. Push it in. Add a little bit more pressure than I had last time. Feed it through. Pull it out the back. There we go. And that's a pretty good match. That's almost exactly the same as that. That's about all there is to the is to the tool. Now I'll show you a few features on the tool. Um, we have a scale on the bottom here. I don't know if I can catch it on the camera or not. Um, but the way this scale works, there we go. I get a nice tight shot on it. It's got some graduations on there. Now, like I said before, you're not really looking for precision curves. It's not really necessary. But where this comes in handy. Um, is like what I just did with the Code 100 rail. When I ran it through the first time, it was a little bit a little bit broad, and I wanted to run it through a second time. So what I would do is I, I'd back the wheel off, reinsert the rail, and then go back to where I was plus a little bit more. So that's the way that tool comes in kind of handy for that, uh, for those graduations. Uh, it'll work right down to very small rail. Let's do a quick quick demo. This is some Code 55 rail. Very same thing. You just stick it in there. 
And you can see how easily this goes through smaller rail. It's quite easy to bend. Just push it in there, pull it out the back. Another little point I wanted to bring up about uh, curved rails. Uh, when, I, when I'm feeding this in, into the tool like this, this section of rail between this bearing and this bearing won't bend properly. So what I like to do is I feed the piece through, all the way through. And then before using that piece of rail, I'll actually nip off this little bit on the end because that's not a that's not a very good bend. It's actually going straight on the end there, and that can uh, that can have an effect when you're trying to join two curved pieces of track. So I actually cut off the first two inches or so. And by doing that, now we're back into the radius all the way through the length of the rail. One more little interesting feature about the rail roller. We've all got a few pieces of rail like this lying around. You know, it got jammed down into the bottom of a box and the thing's all bent. You think, well, that's pretty much good for nothing. Well, with the rail roller, you can actually restore that rail and use it again. What you want to do is feed it into the, into the rail roller. And you're going to bend it to a fairly aggressive curve. So it's a pretty tight radius. But what it's doing is it's reforming that rail into a constant arc. So now that's a pretty consistent curve on the rail. So now I'm going to feed it through the other way. I'm going to back the wheel off, feed it into the tool. And I do this by eye, just a few passes until it comes out straight out the other end. I got pretty lucky on that try. Now that rail is pretty much straightened out and ready to use. So it's a pretty handy little tool.